Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue with image labels, but this time we're actually going to add an image to it. So, we're going to just completely ditch our image label for right now. And we're going to go up to this images thing, or this toolbox, and we're going to go to my decals. Uh, actually no. Eh, yeah. Might as well. Uh, so you guys will see a lot of decals. You guys will not have the same decals as I have. But that's okay. So I'm just going to insert this. My channel logo as it is right now. It might be updated by the time you're watching this video. Now we're going to select this. And we can go over to properties. And we see the decal um, properties are all here. So we're going to go to texture. We're going to copy this. And then we're just going to wait until the prop. We're going to move our mouse around and wait until the properties disappear. And then we can click, and the decal will not be added to anything. Sorry if you guys heard that door shutting. That was not intended uh, to be in the video. Anyway, as we continue, we'll ch go to this image label and simply press Control V to paste it. You see this nice little B baller 13SN TV thing. It looks really squished, so we're going to fix that real quick. By using this size constraint, we're going to change the size constraint to be relative to x by x and change this to be 0.4 as well. And then we're just going to move this up to like 0.1 on the y scale. Notice the size constraint does not affect the position, it only affects the size. Now, I don't know if I explained the size constraint too much, but I'm going to explain it now because image labels is where size constraint really, really matters. Size constraint is usually set to relative xy. That means you have <coughs> your, at your width uh, size. Now, keep in mind, Relative, the size constraint only affects the, um, which one, sorry guys, yeah, it only affects the scale in the size, it doesn't affect the offset, you can still give a, an exact amount of pixels, and the size constraint will do nothing for you, however, size, when we have relative xx, that means both of these scale parts of the size, part of the UDIM2 size, will be relative to the horizontal width, horizontal length, the width, would it be width? No, sorry, the horizontal length, that isn't the width, my bad. The length, the horizontal length, as I've said a hundred times, of your monitor, or maybe not your monitor if you aren't in full screen, but of the, um, area that or the frame that the GUI component is in so it is only for the, that means both the X in, or the width and the height of the GUI their scales will be relative to the length of your of the total horizontal space that it can fill if it were at 100% now if we have relative YY it's relative to how tall its parent frame is. So instead of us caring more about this X position, or this horizontal, the X size is going to be relative to how tall it can fulfill. Okay, so hopefully you guys can understand that. If not, please comment or message me and I will do my, be my best to explain it more clearly and more thorough. But we're going to keep it at relative XX right now. So as you guys can see, my logo is nicely visible, nicely and perfectly, oh, what's the word for it, um, scaled to fit. You guys can't see all of it because my frame, my recording frame is just a little bit smaller than this 
uh, GUI component is right now. And I'm sorry, but you guys, you get, you can understand. Oh, and one more thing I like about the new Studio 2013 is that it actually gives a blue like outline to GUIs as you edit them. That's a nice touch. Good job, Roblox. And I like the new cursor. So, well, yeah, that's, that's, eh. now nah, we'll edit one more thing, I think. What can we do? Nothing really. Oh, let me show you what would happen if I were to change this three at the end to a two. We will get an error because it cannot load the asset. So if you ever get an error like this from your output and a GUI image label or a decal isn't showing up correctly, it's because you have an incorrect link and you need to fix that property. We'll fix it again. It's not working. Why, oh why, is it not fixing itself now? Okay, I guess it won't, I guess it's like broken or something now. I'm sure if I just cut and paste, yeah, I just had to cut it and paste it back in. And it's back to normal. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you feel about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.